We're going to start on MIDI channel 1, which is all the lights off. And now what we're going to do is play deck A on our software. The way we have it set up right now, MIDI channel 1 is deck A, MIDI channel 2 is deck B. Because we have eight MIDI channels, we can actually have up to eight decks controlled by one Radius 1000. That's pretty cool. So we're on MIDI channel 1 right now. We've uploaded our file for our mapping. We've selected the MIDI channels 1 through 8 on here and we've saved them. We should be ready to go. Let's see. All right, let's get a little bit of music going. Okay, so now we're going to be able to control our software just like we're controlling a CD. My start, stop, my cue, everything works just like a CD. My pitch control, just like a CD. I want to scratch. Everything just like a CD. One of the reasons people use MIDI controllers is to retain the feel of equipment they're used to using so they don't have to touch the computer. One of the things we've done with the mapping on here is I can actually go through my crates, go through my songs, do everything right from here, which is pretty cool. So I talked about eight MIDI channels a second ago. We're on MIDI channel one right now. Let's go over to MIDI channel two and see what happens. Now I'm controlling the deck on the other side from the same radius 1000. So I'm going to actually, there we go. So that's that deck, that's that deck, that's both decks. I can scratch this deck, go over to MIDI channel 1, scratch that deck, go back and forth. So what's kind of cool is we have MIDI channels 1 through 4 for the decks, we have 1 and 2 for the decks that we have set up right here. And then we actually have MIDI channel 6, we did something exciting. So if you go over to MIDI channel 6, this controls my EQ, my highs, mid highs, mid lows, and lows. And I can use the track feature to go between deck A and deck B. So if I want to do the EQ on deck A, I click over here. I'm doing the EQ. I want to do deck B, I click over there. So right now I'm using an external mixer, but there might be times that I want to control the EQ on my mixer on my software. So that's another thing you can do with the MIDI control that sets this product apart. Okay, now one other thing we've done. So far in the video we've covered that MIDI channels one through four on the deck are controlling four different decks if we want. We have channel six is controlling our EQ. Ch MIDI channel seven is not, we haven't mapped or done anything on that. And what's kind of cool is on MIDI channel eight, we've had that mapped out to the effects on the software that we're using. So as we're turning the knobs on here, they're going to turn on the screen for different effects. As we're pressing buttons here, you're going to see things light up and turn on and off and sync up and do all that on the screen. Again, I don't have to touch my computer mouse. I don't have to do anything. I can do everything from one radius 1000. Now let's say you want to do your own mapping which can be very time consuming. Um, that's why we've created files for a lot of the popular DJ software out there that are available on our website for you to download and easily install in your software. Um, if you want to do your own mapping and really customize the way your Radius 1000 works with your software, you can do that. And we've actually done something that's pretty cool. The Radius 1000 has a MIDI Learn feature and that makes things really easy. So the way that works is, I'm going to go to Preferences. I'm still set in my MIDI setup. And you'll notice a list of features here. It starts with uh, deck play, pause for deck A, and so on and so forth. And we can go down through all our features. And let's say uh, loop in on deck A. We're going to set that. So loop in deck A. What we're going to, all we do is we highlight that feature. So we'll go down. We click the learn button. So now it's waiting for an input. We press the in, and now that in has become our loop in on deck A. So now let's go down, and there should be loop out as well. Let's see here. Here we go, loop out uh, deck A. We're going to highlight that, kind of jump down a little bit. We're going to go to MIDI Learn. It's already illuminated for us. We're going to click on that, and now we've just set our A and our B, our loop in and loop out points. Say that we want to set EQ or something else. We can. Any feature we want, we can find in our menu and 
highlight the feature, make sure the learn feature is on, go to the control on the deck we want to control that with. Once we turn a knob, it's going to set that as that new feature. So that's mapping. It's kind of time consuming. It's a lot easier when your hardware has MIDI Learn, such as the Radius 1000. You pick your features here, MIDI Learn, pick what you want over here to control them, turn it and you're good to go, or slide it if, if, if it's a slider, turn it if it's a wheel. Um, one thing that's important when you're doing your mapping is to make sure you're in the proper MIDI channel. I want to set up everything on MIDI channel one, finish that, then go to MIDI channel two for my second deck and so on and so forth. Because I uploaded a file that we already did that for you, I don't have to worry about it, but if at some point I want to change something about it, I can actually go in, change the settings that I've uploaded, save them as a new file, and I'm good to go. So another reason to love the Radius 1000, it has MIDI Learn built right in. Okay, one thing about the Radius 1000 is it doesn't have a built-in sound card. The left and right outputs on it are for CD, MP3 audio only, so what we need to do is add a sound card so that we can get the full power of our system happening. So I've chosen the American Audio Verse support today, surprisingly enough. This is a 4x4 sound card. It's extremely versatile. It has headphone and microphone control and inputs and outputs as well. We've taken the Verse support and via USB hooked it to our computer and then we have our two left and right stereo outputs that we're running into the mixer. So right now I have line one is my CD deck playing. Let's say I go over there. Switch over, flip my Radius 1000 over to MIDI. So, just like that, that's my computer, CD, computer, CD, computer. A couple of things that are cool about the Verse support, this is one of its uses. Its primary use is if I was using a DVS software where I need vinyl or CDs to drive the software, I could run my CD players or my turntables directly into here come out of here into my mixer just like I'm doing now, have my USB go to my computer, and have my CD players or my turntables controlling my DVS type software. Right now we're just using the out output side of it, but you can use the input and the output side together. And again, you have a mic level, headphone level, right on here if you want to use it as a standalone with your computer for a gig or a show, or even in your home studio. So Verse Support by American Audio, very versatile. It also comes with custom ASO drivers. Uh, so there's no compromise as far as your inputs and outputs when you're running a lot of stuff.